It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. When the Hi and welcome back to my channel. Well, if it's your first time here, hi, welcome to my channel for today's Christmas homemaking video. So yeah, as you can see, I'm in my Rudolph um, sweater, which I absolutely adore. And it is so cozy and soft and yeah, warm, just uh, perfect for that season because it is really, really, really cold outside. So yeah, that is a perfect sweater. Um, yeah, my plan today is just some random homemaking paired with a lot of Christmas homemaking, which means like I want to add some more Christmas decor to some spaces. I got some more twinkle lights that I want to add to my decor. Um, I also want to bake the first Christmas cookies of the season. Um, yeah, that is the plan for right now. So let's go. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and happy. Been a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family, making angels in the sand. You ready? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. So after I was done with sorting out all my laundry and starting the first load of laundry, I started on the first batch of cookies and I will put the recipe down in the description box so that it's easy accessible for you if you decide to bake those cookies as well. I promise you they were really really good and everybody loved them. Chilling and having a good, good time Okay, I just placed the dough into the fridge. It has to chill for an hour. Um, I think I did not even say what, which kind of cookies these are. These are Linzer cookies. I don't know if you've heard about them. I think it is a German thing. But the recipe that I followed is actually an American one um, that I will link in the description box so that you have all the English, in, um, English uh, instructions and measurements. But I think it is traditionally a German one because it is one, is a recipe that I know I've made with my grandmother and that is in one of my grandmother's old, old cookbooks. So I think it is a German recipe. And with the name Linzer, but I'm not sure. Maybe it is not, but I think it is. So the dough is chilling in the fridge and I'm going to start on dinner. I'm making a pasta green bean casserole i'm just here for all the casseroles i just love it so for my green bean casserole i'm actually going to use those kind of pasta you could use whatever kind you want i just like those and paulina likes them so we pick those up instead of macaroni or something like that um just some regular milk some heavy whipping cream some grated cheddar cheese and some gouda mozzarella mixture cheese you could use whatever kind you want but i would not um not switch the cheddar out then some green beans 
uh, which is some garlic, obviously not the whole thing of garlic, an onion, maybe I'll do two, I'm not sure, some celery, some fried onions, um, and some butter, that's just the leftover from the cookies, and I will use it. So, let's get started. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe You're missing. I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. So, little tip I always do vegetables and pasta in one pot when I have to boil both of them. So I first added the green beans, I've let them cook for a few minutes and then I added the pasta and let them cook for the rest of the amount of time that the pasta needed. So yeah, you just have to do a little bit of math but then you have less to clean up. So I really eyeballed everything, I didn't follow a recipe or something like that. I just started by adding the butter to the hot pan and letting it melt and then I added the onion and the celery and sauteed that for a few minutes until they were softened up. Then I added the garlic for like 30 seconds, you don't want to burn your garlic. So just add it for a small amount of time. I added some milk and some heavy whipping cream, it was like, yeah, around... Like, I filled up one and a half cups, but I filled them up with half milk and half um, heavy whipping cream. Then I also added some salt, black pepper, and yeah, you could add whatever spices you want, or whatever suits best for you, in your opinion. And then I added some cornstarch that I dissolved in some milk to thicken up the sauce and I added a little bit of cheddar cheese and a little bit of grated gouda cheese like half a cup um, if you do like both like um, for the cup of cheddar cheese and for the cup of gouda cheese or mozzarella cheese or whatever you kind you would like um, and then I threw the pasta and the green beans in my casserole dish and added the sauce, sprinkled some cheese on top and some fried onions and then I just let that bake for like around yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. Everything is cooked through, you just want to brown it a little bit. So just have eye on it, but I think I had it in there for like 15 minutes. So after I switched the laundry again, um, I started cleaning up the kitchen from dinner and cookie baking. So here's some cleaning motivation coming for you.
please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite Christmas tradition, what is your favorite Christmas movie, your favorite Christmas cookies, and what are you doing on the Christmas days, like on Christmas Eve, um, then Christmas Day, what are you doing, how do you spend those Christmas days? Every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday So the dough was now well rested and I rolled it out on a wells floured surface. I actually needed a lot of flour because the dough was really sticky. So just make sure that you have a lot of flour otherwise it will just stick to the bottom. And then I just cut out um, some cookies with my cookie cutters. I got some Linzer cookie cutters from Amazon. So you will see in a second you got one cookie cutter um, for like just those round cookies and then I got other ones in the same shape but with a little cutout in the middle part. So like little Christmas trees, little gingerbread man, little hearts, things like that. So these are like see through later when you stick them together you will see later in the video. Um, then you can just see the gem that you put inside. So yeah, I just got them from Amazon. They're really cute. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. Okay, okay, I hope you can understand me. Good morning. Um, it is actually two days later. Um, this is like a... I will film over three days, I decided, because, yeah, it is just not working. I have my little toddler next to me um, eating her breakfast, but yeah, that is basically how it is. I always have her around when I'm doing things, and so it just takes a little bit more time to find. So, I had to show you my cute new cardigan. So I was not so sure about it and obviously it's just a Christmas piece so yeah but 
I still, I still got it. Um, so uh, it has those little gingerbread men, and I just love it. It's so cute. Yeah. Um, actually, Paulina is going with my mom to her baby gymnastics today. Normally, I go with her, and yeah, it's just today because I don't have a car right now because Patrick had to leave for work with a car and. I asked her if she, if I could have her car and then we decided that she just goes with Paulina today. Next week I will go with her um, again. So yeah, and in the time that she's gone, which will be like a little over an hour, I want to get some decorating done. Or well, not decorating, but I want to add some more things to my decor and I want to upgrade my wreath that I have on our front door but I'm just not in love with it so I'm going to change it and yeah let's go I think I'm gonna turn it around so that this one is the upper part, maybe? No, I don't know, it seems like it has already lost something that I can't remember, but here's like glue. Okay, we'll just start and we will see. So you can see I got those little Christmas trees and I've got some snow um, and I took out my hot glue and just glued everything onto the wreath. I saw this inspiration on Pinterest actually and I thought it was really cute and so I did a little twist on mine um, and just tried it out myself. I know or I think they are available to buy but pretty expensive when I get a ride but I just saw them really expensive um, maybe there is a cheap option as well I don't know but I just saw really expensive ones um, of this kind so yeah I thought well I just tried myself and it didn't turn out perfect but I really like how it turned out so that is like the little reminder try to make more sing things on your own DIY things because often you can do it and it's way cheaper maybe it is not perfect but you did it your own or maybe you was even able to do it with your kids together and just had a fun activity and yeah you got it a little bit cheaper than or maybe even a lot cheaper than just buying it straight away so yeah just try it out often things turn out way better than you think One So I got this little pillow case for Ellie and it just has those Christmas colors that I really love like those traditional red green colors and the plaid version and as you can see it has those little paws and it says Merry Christmas and Ellie just loves her little corner there um, on the couch so I just put it there um, yeah, and she really enjoyed it. <laughs> Maybe you've seen that in my last Get It All Done video, I organized that drawer, or at least I tried. I, I would say I decluttered it and tried to put in everything a little bit more in order, but um, like I had 
nothing in there that was able to keep the order better so I now got this little drawer organizer from Amazon as well and it didn't turn out perfect because it is just it is just not um, a perfect drawer for things like that I don't know um, maybe I just have too much but it is way better than before don't care It's Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. We're going to make some hot cocoa cookies. I've never made them before, so I'm excited. So I have some flour back here, some brown sugar, white sugar, chocolate chips, uh, some soft butter, eggs, some hot cocoa mix. Um, make sure that you have a sugared version and not like just a regular cocoa powder. Um, or you could make a cocoa out of cocoa powder but yeah uh, some baking soda baking powder salt and mini marshmallows it would be better to have like mellow bits or something like that but we don't have that in germany um yeah now we're going to start to beat the butter and sugars in this mixer So I will put a recipe of those hot cocoa cookies in the description box as well. They turned out really, really good and it was not a problem at all with those ma um, real marshmallows and not mellow bites. Like maybe it sticked a little bit to the parchment paper and they sticked a little bit onto each other, but honestly not a problem at all. So I would recommend trying them out. Everybody really liked them and yeah, they're just... They're just really sweet and flavorful and fun to make, so yeah, you should go ahead and try them out. So we are at the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's Christmas homemaking um, motivation inspiration video. I hope that it brought you some joy and holiday spirit. So I really feel like Christmas is the most beautiful and most wonderful time of the year. And I really love the Christmas time. I love all my Christmas decor, the holiday baking, just everything so festive to me. So I hope that I can bring some joy and happiness and yeah, just Christmas, um, Christmas feelings to you out there. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in the next one and I have a lot more Christmas videos to come. See you soon.